Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Nomadic Jake. In this video, I'm going to be giving you an inside tour of my trailer. So let's go check it out. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is I have a screen right here. And that is to keep the bugs out. So if you guys are going to build your cargo trailer, I highly recommend getting a magnetic screen or some type of screen to keep the bugs out. But keep the airflow coming into the trailer, especially on those hot days. It's really nice. <laughs> so... Inside the trailer, let's light this bad boy up. Oop, turn that switch off. So we're gonna we're gonna do like the the first part of the trailer. First thing you're gonna see is I have my electrical panel, and this controls all my hundred and one um, one ten one twenty volt um, power, like my lights and my my outlets. And then we have my my power station for my twelve volt. So I got my um, I got two hundred watts of solar. That feed into my charge controller which goes straight into my battery and this stuff's all powered through my um, fuse blockers and stuff so no fire happens or anything but then that goes into my inverter and this cord actually go plugs into my what did I just call this thing I just called this my panel box that's right so but this cord goes um, straight into my panel um, plugs into my panel box which powers everything so yeah and then <laughs> um, my walls my walls I got them from Home Depot I threw away that plywood because it's stupid heavy and it's just ugly let's just let's just get to the fact of that so I went to Home Depot and I got this stuff and it was I think one giant board of this was like 30 bucks and then the whiteboards behind you for like twenty dollars and they look so much better than than the plywood that you get with a regular cargo trailer so i really like it next thing is i have a propane tank in here you guys are gonna say that's super unsafe it probably is but that's how i'm living right now and i haven't died yet so so that propane tank is actually feeding this instant hot water heater and this hot water heater is how i take my showers and i really love this thing so how this all works and how I take a shower, how I take a shower with this little nozzle is um, what I do is, let me see here. So first I have to make sure I have my bucket of water. So I take five gallon bucket showers and you can do it guys. And it's super convenient, especially when you're boondocking a lot or you're living off the grid. Is this little thing sucks up and there's a pump right here. So it sucks the water up into the hot water heater and then that hot water heater um, sends the water through this faucet and I can take a shower and I really like it and then when I'm not using that I can go to the bathroom with my portal potty and I really like this thing <laughs> so the next thing is you're going to notice are I have laminate hardwood flooring and it's way better than the plywood decking that comes on the, the regular cargo trailer. But under this is it's half inch um, foam board, Owens Corning foam board. That kind of like that pink stuff that you see in Home Depot. And then I have, I think it was about two inches of insulation in the walls, which really keeps this trailer nice and warm during the winter time. It helps to keep it kind of cool during the summer times since I don't have an AC unit. Next thing is I have two max air fans to suck out all that hot air during the summertime, which is really nice, especially on those hot nights when I can't, when I don't want to go to bed. Now built around the shower, I have on the entrance, I have my coat hangers, my hat hangers, my backpack hangers, and then on the other side is my kitchen. So this is where I store all my food, pots and pans stuff like that <laughs> the next thing is this is where my kitchen is the kitchen isn't done yet because I realized my sink was a little too small so I need to put, buy it a bigger sink and a deeper sink so everything um, you can wash dishes and actually use it as a kitchen now the other side is my study but uh, it also acts as the prep area to do all my um, food making and everything and this is where I keep all my clothes, so underneath. Everything's just really convenient. And then 
this is my study this is my seat for my studies when I need to do some work or study and in this bucket is where I keep all my dog food to feed the pups now you're probably wondering how do you build a, a bed in a cargo trailer and there's so many different ways um, when I first built the cargo trailer by the way this is my second time I the first time I built it real quick and after a couple months I just didn't like it so I had to redo it all the first time the bed was leaning going this way so I was sleeping this way instead of this way <laughs> so but, um, so what I did here was I made my bed into a Murphy bed and I'll probably do a complete different video on how I built the bed but the bed is really easy it just kind of folds up and the dogs sleep under the bed so it keeps everything else open during the night times so that I can get up and walk around so and then gosh the first time I built this cargo trailer I only had I think, I, think, I think I only put three outlets in but I wanted to change that so when I rebuilt I put one two three four five I think I put around six outlets in so I doubled the amount of outlets in the in the cargo trailer so I always have an outlet to plug stuff into um, the other thing is I got these wall storage things I got them from Ikea and I really like them they just kind of fold out and they're very they make it so I can walk around my bed the next thing is I do have a ramp door for my cargo trailer and um, it's really nice especially on those hot days or when you want that fresh air to come in what it um, but what I do is to keep the bugs out or to kind of keep the Sun out if it's baking right here is I have this this tarp that I got off Amazon um, and it I think it was like $78 but it, it kind of helps to block the Sun coming in but allows all that air to come in so when I open the front door and this I get a bunch of breeze coming through the trailer which really cools it all down so that's it for my cargo trailer tour so if you guys have any questions just write a comment down below if you guys like my videos just subscribe and hit that bell notification see you guys later